Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show the steps to install a 2015 Autodesk Design Suite. Before we get started, a couple of notes. I'm installing Autodesk Factory Design Suite 2015 Ultimate. So, if you're installing a different product, the steps might vary just a little bit. Also, I'm installing a NodeLock version. So, if you're using a network version or creating a deployment, your steps may also be different as well. However, this will go through the basics and definitely give you some guidance. First, I'm going to locate the setup.exe file to begin my installation. Now this may be on a USB drive if you opted for media. In my case, I've downloaded it from the subscription site. Regardless, I'm going to double click to begin the installation. Now, the setup's going to initialize. This might take a few moments, so I'm going to accelerate time a little bit. Once the initialization is completed, I'll see three options. The first, Create Deployment, allows me to create a scripted network deployment in a shared location. Because this location is shared, I can pull it to multiple machines. And because it's scripted, I can make sure that the settings are all consistent instead of trying to remember to set them at each machine if I were installing at that location. So if you're installing multiple machines and need them to be the same, this is the option for you. The next, Install Tools and Utilities, allows you to install different utility programs. These programs can include the Autodesk Network License Manager if you're using network licensing, the Vault Server Component if you're using Vault, as well as CAD Manager Utilities and other utilities that you might find handy. So if you're interested, you definitely want to take a look here. In my case, I'm going to install just on my own computer, so this is the option that I want. The End User License Agreement, or EULA, will appear next. I can't proceed until I accept this, so I'm going to carefully read this important information about my Autodesk licensing and move on. After this, I can choose my license type and enter the product information, serial number and product key. I'm going to install a standalone license where the license is locked to my laptop because that's my configuration. The other option, a network license, would allow you to check out a license from a common network server that's been configured by your CAD management. The really important thing about this, make sure you choose the correct option. You don't want to have to reinstall if you do this wrong. Trust me on this one, I've done it before. It's no fun. I didn't like it at all. Next, the product information. This is where you enter the serial number and product key for your Autodesk product. You can also install as a 30-day trial. I normally prefer to put the information in right here and right now, even though I can enter it later. But this time, I'm going to install as a 30-day trial. Why? I'm not showing you my serial number. Get your own. The next screen I see allows me to choose which Autodesk products I'm going to install. I'm going to install the entire shooting match, so I'm not going to deselect anything in this case. Yep, I want it all. But another important note is if you select the name of a given product, you can change the options for that product, such as installing subcomponents, changing the installation type from typical to custom, and making modifications. You can also choose whether to download and include service packs from Autodesk.com. Now, this is 2015, so there's no updates available yet, but Bear in mind, this is something you might want to check when you're installing. The last option is what directory I'm going to install to. I have a small C drive with a larger data drive designated as D, so I'm just going to switch that to D, and now everything's ready to go. I can hit install and go get my coffee. This might take a while. Once the installation is complete, I'm ready to go ahead and go to my next step. I like to do things like migrate templates, migrate data, and start configuring my design suite for use. Again, your options may vary based on product and configuration, but I think it's an important step. But that's it for this video. We'll cover the other stuff later on. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.